Hello, this is Mustard, and I am here at the Gaydon Show of Magnificent British Motor Cars. And the place is full of them. As you can see, there are many, 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 many cars here to have a look at. A row of Triumph Stags. Let's move on to something else, which would be things like the Dolomite. The Dolomite's a particular favourite of mine, and it looks fantastic in this colour, and that colour as well. A particular favourite of mine are the Triumph 2000s and 2500s, the earlier models and the later models as well. Uh, it's just this one. They always look fantastic as an estate car, but they really do suit not being painted properly as well, or at least having paint that's partially come off. And this one, the colour of a 1970s bathroom, looks particularly nice. I do like the old big Triumph badge on the front of there. Oh, and there's another one, but in a different colour. I'm undecided really as to which I prefer, the 60s or the 70s model. Generally I think the 70s, but I like the 60s, and I like the 70s, and the 60s. I don't know, I don't know which one I prefer. So I'm not going to put myself under too much pressure to answer this particular pointless question to myself. This one's rather exciting. Look at that. Looks really, really almost um, not like a Triumph, but more like an Italian car. It's usable. The patina's just right. It's usable. You wouldn't worry about leaving it anyway, would you? You wouldn't worry about it. Well, I wouldn't. But, I would. But you wouldn't worry about leaving that somewhere. What about that one? No, that's, that's the precious looking one there, isn't it? But as you rightfully say, it does look like it could do with some lacquer on it to stop it from rusting away. Yeah, that's all it's lacking, really. And it is rusting a bit at the bottom there. Yeah. That's part the of the appeal. Yeah, the only thing the slamming is, is you know, I, I think it compromises it right, especially on an old car like this. Yeah, I prefer it on a standard suspension myself. This one's got um, funny eyes. What's going on with that? Not sure I've ever approved of that. This one hasn't got funny eyes. That one's got sleepy eyes. And this one is another. I said to Mike that this looks a bit like a, an old cigarette packet. A cigarette packet that's been discarded, crumpled up, and then picked back up and tried to shape back into its original shape. Can you see it? <laughs> Let's have a look at the maestros first because we notice there's more maestros here than just about anything. You've got a whole load of ordinary maestros that at one point nobody cared about and then we've got the MG maestro that lots of people cared about and then more ordinary maestros that somebody looks like they've cared about because they're all nice and shiny. But look how many there are. They're there really is an awful lot of maestros. You'd think that that was it, but it's not because there's some maestro vans over here as well. There's a black one, there's a white one, there's a beige one, there's a white one, there's a red one. And then there's some more white ones here. Quite a few are just labeled up with stickers. Some of them are just have peeling bits on everywhere. And then there's a rather very tidy red one here. That's very nice indeed, that one. And then rather remarkably, even more maestros. More maestros that look like at one point nobody really cared about. Even the MG looks a little bit weather beaten. But this one, ooh, that's... That's very nice, besides that crack in the windscreen. And then a super duper red one. I mean, it's super duper red because it's actually red and not pink or faded red. And then what it looks like here are some show cars. That one certainly looks like it's... Mmm. It's nice. So these ones. Oh, I've seen this one before. I've seen this one before. 
that's a rather splendid car that I have definitely seen before. Ah, hello, you yeah, alright? Yes. You'd think that would be it for the Maestros, but it's not because there's even more just up here. This one is an original Royal Mail van by the looks of it. I mean, it's genuinely got a toy cat in there. And that's quite important when it comes to Royal Mail thingies. M, G, Fs. Are there any Fs? Or they're just TFs. Look like they're all just TFs to me. That chap that was here a minute ago is Mike, as in classic wheels Mike. Um, he's, he's turned up here just to try and annoy me, but he's disappeared. He was really desperately hoping to annoy me, but it looks like I did it the other way around instead. The old Vitesse looks quite evil with its twin eyes like that. Looks like it's going to stab you in the neck. Single headlamps, friendly. Twin headlamps, angry. Single, approachable. Twin, as I said, stab you in the neck. Lots and lots of TR7s. And then over here we have a Montego. A Montego. There's only three Montegos here as far as I see today, which is surprisingly few, especially when you consider how many maestros there are here. There's many, many more maestros than you would have ever expected. So why so few Montegos? Don't know. Can't answer that question. Not even going to try. Rover 600s. Almost 600 of them. But the one that's catching my attention is this one because it's got some gold bits on. It's got gold bits around the front as well. It's not the best car here. Metros or Rover 100s as they became. So 100 Metro, 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 Metro 100. 100 Metro, 100 Metro. I don't know. I'm losing interest. That one there is particularly interesting, the Metro Pickup. I don't ever remember these coming out to the factory like that, so it probably isn't real. It is real, it's definitely real, look at it. It's got its roof sawn off. It looks great actually. Yeah, that'd make a great hot tub in the back of there. Metros and 100 shapes. And also they come in pristine and not so pristine. Look, this one's got a hole. It's got a hole in the wing. That's quite honest. Honest. Exceedingly dishonest. That one's too shiny. This what? What is that? I don't look like a metro at all. The trouble is, when they're in such nice condition, you almost don't recognise them because they look wrong. And that one there does, and I feel really mean saying that, but it's just how I feel. Look at this lovely 800 here, with two massive teddy bears in. One of my favourite rovers are the 800, and I don't really know why, because the trouble is, they're also kind of one of the worst as well. But, I mean, look how lovely that is in there. It just looks super. And look, this one used to be a police car. Perhaps it still is. Oh, look, someone's left their cam cover off. That could possibly be a rather dangerous thing to do with stones and stuff. No, you put your fingers in it, it takes the ends off. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, really? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, you end up fingers like that then. Ah, <laughs> is, that, is that how that sign come about, like the metal sign? Yeah. Yeah, through messing about with rover yeah. cam belts without putting yeah. the covers on. Yeah. Past the fact that it's one of the cars here. Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> and it's got a genuine Tickford thingy on there and a proper turbo, and it's undoubtedly a very fast car with plenty of patina. That one's green. Oh, I've seen. Oh, hang on. I know this chap as well, don't I? Because you abused my car with that teddy bear, didn't you? I did. Yeah. We've got a partner now. There's two of them. Yeah, well, I did notice that there's more than one. Yes. Soon there might be a third. <laughs> <laughs> Allegros. Allegros, Allegros. We didn't know this one, don't we? Agatha, 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 the Allegro. Owned by a man called Rick. 
look he's, he's put his uh, steering lock on there because he's concerned that somebody might just try and steal it this one's rather dapper actually the equip look at that that's a proper 1970s ABBA album cover if ever you've seen one that one's exciting that one's excellent this one looks like a car that I've done a test drive in yes it does indeed restored by somebody called Allegro man yep that's the one and this one what a beautiful color that is that's fantastic and this one as well another beautiful color with a, a rather amazing spinning Allegro on the grill there I don't suppose that's a standard fit uh, down this end we have loads and loads of Range Rovers and I don't know why but I'm just tempted to skip this and not talk about it in very much the same way as I'm tempted to not even talk about the Triumph TR7s I don't dislike them I just don't find them that exciting however We've got some very nice shades of green here yeah the the colors are far more exciting than the cars that one's not got an air vent the last video i did around the car show i didn't actually look at the cars i just talked to the people but this time i thought i'm going to ignore all of the people and just look at the cars instead and so far i'm not doing very well at that it's working for BBC now. Look, there's Hubnut over there. Just needs a big BBC thing around it. Should I say hello to Hubnut? Should wave at him. Should I? It's a non-runner. As well, do not I? I mean, we have the old camera off thing. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. do. Yeah, this is it's, it's the best way to do this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, actually, Project Nigel. Roverman's the uh, Facebook thing. Ah, uh -huh, there we go. Uh, in the same way that. Um, I don't know, I suppose people do refer to you as just Ian, don't they? Occasionally. As, as just, that's not yeah. Hubnut. Oh look, Steph's there. Yeah, Hello, Steph. Steph. Here as well. Hello. Yes, everybody's, everybody have gathered around. Let's not, look we're not showing Steph on camera though, apparently. No, 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 it's fine. Oh, fine. I think, I think oh, we're not. Carly hates you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, anyway, see you in a bit. Right, yep, see you, see you later. Oh, good to see you. Oh, a lovely piggy nosed leg row. Oh, I almost missed this one. I really don't want to miss an Austin. 1300 GT or the estate version with the wood bit down the side look at that it's got wood it's a woody car in teal how lovely there are lots of cars here today as you can see many of which I I find to be just a bit too old really to talk about to know what to say other than just to walk past them and tell you that actually I don't know what to say about them that's good enough for me I'm happy with that there are lots of people here and I am doing my best not to talk to them but as you can see I'm struggling even Hubnot knows who I am red minis with white bits on the perfect combination of red mininess this rather special midget has got its own house with its other blue friend here well, very tidy though very tidy indeed over here is a car that I've definitely seen before at a previous show because I pointed out that Jerry here is prob I think it's the only one the only Austin Apache on the road in the country and this is a curious curious looking car indeed seeing quite a lot of men who look like that chap from Breaking Bad and then over here Austin's that looks almost like a, a modern version of an old Austin I don't know why what have they done to that to make it look modern I mean it doesn't look modern but it looks more modern than that one Austin 1100s with the sticky out bit and then the 70s version with the less sticky out bit and what <laughs> kind of color with that a Wolseley 1300 that's a fantastically summery color isn't it SD one two three SD one testing five <sighs> told you I'm making it up as I go along if you like a princess or two is that one leaking I think that one's leaking a bit actually 
Then this is the area to come to. Oh, look, there's a, that's not even a prince. That's a Wolseley. Is Wolseley? Is it? That's the one I like best. I like the colour of that. I like that one. I like that one. I like that one. I like them all. You know, I'm very easy to please and all that. Back over to the land crab area, which is full of these monster, scary looking British gangster cars that BRMs. Now it might just be me this, but there's one there, and then there's a whole load more of them. And by the time you got three or four down, you stop looking. If I was one of these people, I'd park my car somewhere else, so it stood out. And on the floor, look, what can I look? I made it. Must be Carl. Hello, Carl. Hi. How, how are you doing, Carl? Good, thanks. So you got your shades on? Yep, keeping my old eyes out of view. I still recognise you though, didn't I? You did. It's because you were looking at me. I was like, uh, yeah, 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 he was looking at me and salivating. Salivating. <laughs> <laughs> Just down at that other end over there, I was looking at some 800s. You might remember that. And down this end, there are more 800s, although they seem to be predominantly coupes. Except for this one. This F Ridge. Oh gosh, a, a, a single cam. And now, yeah, that's that's probably uh, amongst the coupe friends because of how rare it is, because nearly all of them were twin cams, weren't they? The Rover 800 Club welcomes you to come and film under their stand, maybe. So there are some more here, and they're all, well, very nice, aren't they? Looks like the R8 section. Good stuff. There's a one drive it day. Now you see things like that are going to interfere with your cooling system. That's a very nice one. That's nice just because it's a three door. That's nice because it's old. That one's nice because it's old and it has leather seats. This one is nice because it belongs to a a man called Adam. And you don't want to mess with Adam. Then one of the tidiest cars I've seen here so far is this 200 VI. That is a, a spectacular condition. It looks like it's just come out of the showroom. Uh, yeah, I was supposed to show this, uh, that Johnny Crook is actually with us today, but unfortunately he can't do his own walking. Red Streetwise, silver 200. Oh, look, it's this one. We've seen this car before on my channel, owned by a nice chap here. Yeah. What's he called? Forgot what he's called. Yeah, it doesn't matter though, does it? Look, he's got these funny sticky out bits on there. What's all that about? How come he's only got them on the back and not the front? Rather failed polishing job on the bonnet there as well. But other than that, it's, it's actually quite a nice car. Uh, no, uh, down here we have some SD ones and that's probably the one that's the most interesting but I'm more interested in the colour of these green ones you know it doesn't sound right does it but when a car enthusiast is more interested in the colour of a car than what the car actually is it would suggest that that particular car enthusiast doesn't have a clue what he's talking about and I'll happily admit that. I'll admit it. I like the green one because of the colour. That's it. Turquoise. Turquoise with... A, ooh, look at that. It's got a dent on the bonnet. There's got a dent. It's got some non-standard wheels. Oh, that'll never do. Mm. Well, another one the same. And another one the same. Mm. Park them up together, lads. Why not? Looks like Rover Joe's here, but it's not his car, so it can't be. And look at this, that's a... Now, again, again, I know about the Rover Coupe. I've had one. And the one I like the best is this one, just because it's red. And that's really weird, because I prefer turquoise. But that's me. Looks good in purple as well. Looks good in grey. Does it look good in Tahiti blue? Well, it's not my favourite colour. Put it that way. 
more, 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 more of the same thing. Just the same old boring old rovers everywhere. I've had enough of them now. Oh look, this one is, this owned by some chap and I can't remember his name, but he's definitely here somewhere. And I know he is because I spoke to him, but that's his reasonably famous V6. Who could it be owned by? Gosh, that's a late comer. Um, I can't remember whether I've been over to see the marinas or not, which is awfully, awfully, terribly, stupidly embarrassing, but I can't remember. So I don't think I have, because I'd be telling you about how much I actually really like them, even though nobody else does. Well, I say nobody else. Actually, all the people here that own them do like them, and that's why they're here, and I like them too, especially this one and that one and this one and that one and curiously this one as well I think basically I'm saying that I like them all of course I do why wouldn't I like them all they're all rather fabulous cars who cares whether they're any good or not well they are good meet Miranda Miner and the man with the yellow hat looks like a politician <laughs> it's yellow, it is covered in insects. It is indeed. Because the insects love yellow. They don't realise it's only a Up the hill we have many, many more moggies. So many moggies you couldn't possibly count them in a lady's house. Oh, I've done that joke before, haven't I? I most definitely have. There's an awful lot of moggies, in fact. That's a rather curious looking moggy. Just like everything else, they basically bring along the really nice ones and the ones that are not as nice, but still in use. And we have a nice selection of both. Personally, I really like this one. Those wheels look super on it. And I like that one, I like the flowers on that. And I like that one, I like the, basically I like the lot. I like the police cars, I like the travelers. What's not to like about a Moggy? They're just, happy, friendly little cars, aren't they? You can't not smile when you see a Moggy. I think the first time I came to Gaydon, I missed this whole section because somehow I didn't even realize it was here. And then the second time I came to Gaydon, I missed this whole section. And you know why? It's for exactly the same reason, because I didn't realize it was here. And I almost missed it this time, but I didn't. I'm here, hello. It's not that uh, this section isn't for the interesting cars, but it's more like just what's left over somehow. Because it is... Oh shit. Uh oh. No, 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 no. No, I'm not doing that again with you. <laughs> that was Simon, as in Project MGTF Simon, who soon won't be called Project MGTF, he'll be called something else, which is a good thing. Oh, there's a rather awful lot of MGTFs along here, all rather shiny and full of different colours and everything. Well, it was a beautiful sight. And a Citroen. Now, this is the star of the show as far as I'm concerned, because I don't understand why it's there. Is that a parking notice, like a parking offence? Fascinating. We recovered from your shop. No, I wasn't expecting to see that. I wonder how many there are in there. Be nice with some chips. Over here we have an absolutely pristine celestial blue MGZR. Look at that. A tribute to Jack, who's down there. I'm surprised you're not keeping the bonnet open, actually. Mm. Mini, 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 ZR. No, it's a ZS. It's a ZS. ZS in trophy blue. And then a peanut. Do they call that a peanut still? Don't know. There's a mini. And there's an MG as well. And another MG. Basically, it's a random selection of cars that all belong here. And, and so they go. There's going to come a point where I get fed up of walking around the place. 
what will happen first we get getting fed up of walking around the place or getting fed up of seeing these cars so down here seems to be mostly ZTs and 75s they've all chosen to park next to each other because they they know who they can talk to they identify with each other very well you see and that's why they're here because they're too scared to go anywhere else that's my theory and I know it's bollocks but I'm sticking with it anyway oh gosh that's a tidy one that's a very tidy one indeed isn't it is it sold by any chance? <laughs> I've just come in to ask if I could buy it. <laughs> See ya. Destroying faces in a way that only I can do with oh, Rob. Look you. Oh, oh good, God. look at this, look at this. Hello, uh, Captain Master. Uh, Hello, Jesus. How are you doing? At this very moment, my name is actually Ernest Pickle. He's going, he, he's chickening out. I don't blame him, to be honest. Are you Norman Butler by any chance? Yes, that's me. Pleased to meet you. Uh, well, you do a left-handed shake, yeah? Yeah. And from uh, Norman Butler. My name is Ernest Pickle. Ernest Pickle. Yes. We got this is a nice lady, lady handshake. Oh, that's a very. That's, that's, that's like my mother's handshake. She's, right. not, she's 103, you know. Are you, are you trying to do some sort of skit here? Oh yes, 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 yes. Are we? That, 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 Matt Richardson just came up to us and said hello. Yeah, him over there. Matt, Matt Richardson, Richardson Matt as well? Richardson. Oh, is it a Matt Richardson oh, no, lookalike? That's not Matt Richardson, that's that. no, no, it's just one that looks like him. <laughs> oh. oh no, I better not talk about that mother might here. Ernest uses that wash and go stuff. I do, I do. Yeah, he washed it and it went. Yeah. <laughs> well, after that rather small distraction, we can see here that we have Simon's car here. Although the colour of those wheels, these wheels are the colour of copper slick. Yeah, and have you noticed they're all glittery in the sun? Yeah, I did. Thank you. Oh, right, what? Stick something up there. Excuse me. Stick something up there. Go on, oh. go on, go on. Switch it on while he does that. Oh, oh, don't do that. You could put. Oh my God, I'm okay. I thought that was Sharon then saying that. <laughs> I bet you could search your crumpet in there. Uh, I'll see you in a bit, ladies. Oh, this one's got sunglasses on. That puts me in the mood for an ice cream. That makes me want a lobster. Am I getting hungry or something? I don't normally get hungry looking at minis, but some reason. Uh oh. Hello, well, Captain Mustard. I've been promising again. not to speak to people whilst doing my walk around. You carry on, sir. No, no, I'll talk to you. You don't need to talk to me, sir. I do. You don't have to. Well, I'd like to. Oh, you're very kind, sir. What should we talk about? I don't know, sir. Well, uh, that, we'll blend the conversation there. That'd be easier, won't it? Well, yes, you need to continue <laughs> with non shambolic nonsense. <laughs> Bye. Bye, sir. Now, for the moment, I'm going to stop my walk around video because I have filmed almost everything. I've not filmed everything I like, but there's too many things to like. But one thing I'd like more than any of these cars at the moment is a nice little toilet break. So I'm going to have to stop just to make way for that. Sid James. Oh look, there's a 420 GSI Tour there. Now then, it might be time that I introduce Johnny, who Johnny Crook, uh, his small versions come along to the show because his big versions at work and he's asked if he could go and meet a few people, so, uh, all right. Johnny Crook, yes, keep walking Johnny Crook, yes I will do. Well, they're going to go and meet some people. That's strange, you don't normally talk like that, Johnny Crook. What? I'm a wrestler now, didn't you know that? Berlin! <laughs> Just give him a hug, he's feeling all sad. There. Look like, you look like you're on the phone to him. Don't be angry with him. 
Well, that's five air horns. It's not really robbing my idea. I reckon that's louder than mine. Tosser. Tosser. <laughs>